Does it never test up? Well, um, so let me start out with the background for the concept of energy. So where we start from is from an observation that when you look at motion of an object, let me move this zoom controls out of the way. Um, when you look at motion of an object that, uh, so this is a kind of a model of pendulum that a lot of fun. Oops, I, I think I made it um, a bit too, um, too chaotic. Okay. When you look at motion of an object like this bob here, which will be undergoing a pendulum motion, that looking at this um, makes one think, even before you know anything about tension force or the kinematic stuff, that um, uh, there's some law governing motion of this pendulum. In fact, uh, for those of you who are interested in history of science, there's a story about Galileo observing, a, I guess it, it was a, a, some sensor in a Catholic church that's a, like a perfume, not perfume, um, I don't know the right terms, <laughs> but something kind of uh, uh, swinging back and forth and he noticed that it seems to be swinging back and forth in an even time interval. He timed it using his pulse and there's a, something that you can observe about motion of this object even before you know a lot about uh, mechanical details. You know, a lot before you know a lot about forces, Newton's laws, Galileo came before Newton. And this is the starting place for our discussion of energy. Because, so while this uh, object is moving back and forth, a lot of things are changing. I can actually plot things. Uh, let me do a show plot and um, show you the dynamic things that are going on as this moves back and forth. You can see that it's a speed move, uh, changes quite a bit. Its speed is zero right here at the end of the motion. And then its speed is maximum at the bottom here. But as you look at this, there's a um, kind of a sense of constancy here. It seems like the, this uh, sw uh, swinging pendulum is always coming up to the same speed. And um, is there a... Um, um, I can also try to show Y position. When you look at the Y position, then as it moves back and forth, you see that it always comes up to the same height. It seems like there's some um, unexpressed law of nature that causes this pendulum to move in this very regular way. So energy is the concept that expresses that. Uh, in particular, energy as a conserved quantity. That this, um, that when you look at the plot of how this moves, that the reason, the, the postulate or guess or whatever, the reason that there's this, re this regular pattern and this, the reason that this speed comes up to the same value every single time, is because there's this conserved quantity called the energy. And when this swinging pendulum comes to the same point here at the very bottom, then it has the same speed every single time because this quantity of energy is conserved and it being conserved, you achieve the same value each time. And um, so, so that's a really the beginning place for the discussion of energy. This uh, desire to, or uh, this uh, recognition that there is a conserved quantity and this desire to express that conserved quantity. And now um, one thing that's nice about having this uh, simulation is that um, you can do certain things that um, that's kind of unrealistic to do with the real demonstration. In particular here, the speed always comes up to the same value, mainly because I uh, cheated and I turned off the uh, 
the, the air friction or air resistance before I started this um, virtual class session. So if I turn this back on, then you will see that this pendulum doesn't always reach the same value. You can, over many iterations, you can kind of see it uh, going down, it'll slow down to stop eventually. And, uh, and you know, that does, that's the kind of real world pendulum. But as we do with many things in physics, um, we first imagine an idealized scenario. And in the idealized scenario, in a world where air resistance doesn't exist, or maybe we do this, do this in vacuum, then, um, then the, this pendulum has constant energy, constant mechanical energy. And this is a setup that conserves energy. So that's really the introduction to energy, that it's a, it's a conserved quantity. And that's probably the only way, only kind of a working definition that we can give to energy, that it's a quantity that objects have <laughs> and that it's concerned.